Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode and in this video tutorial I will talk about topology optimization and uh, topology optimization can be achieved by using different softwares and if you want to explore more about it I will put the link of that article in the description and also you can download the MATLAB code of uh, this video tutorial so in this video tutorial I will first explain the MATLAB code and uh, at the end of this code I will explain the results which uh, which are achieved right over here and uh, this plot too so let's start with the tutorial so uh, the objective uh, of uh, this code actually is to perform topology optimization uh, which is uh, a well-known technique used in structural engineering and design to find the optimal distribution of materials within a given design domain uh, the goal actually is to minimize structural compliance uh, deformation while satisfying a volume constraint so uh, let's uh, start with the overview uh, how this MATLAB code will perform so uh, here uh, initially we have uh, uh, some input data which we have import right over here so we specify the dimensions of uh, rectangular design domain so that is actually the 100 millimeters by the 100 millimeters so we have 100 millimeters in our x-axis and another 100 millimeters in our y-axis so after that here is the number of elements considered and uh, right over here in the element size uh, uh, we, dis we divide the de uh, design domain into smaller elements um, rectangular in this case uh, to discretize uh, uh, the problem and uh, then there are next uh, further right over here uh, is the material properties and uh, then after that the optimization uh, process starts uh, which starts with the node and element generation right over here nodes and uh, elements are generated uh, nodes define the, define the locations and uh, elements uh, connect nodes uh, to form the structure and uh, then there is a initial uh, material distribution and uh, there is a variable x uh, which actually uh, represent uh, the material distribution uh, with all the elements having the same uh, material properties and then there is a objective function uh, right over here after that we have uh, some uh, volume constraint so the volume constraint uh, we set a constraint on the uh, total volume of material used uh, in this example we aim to use uh, half of the uh, design uh, domains volume and uh, then there is a start of uh, optimization problem using so let me uh, start with the more depth analysis about the code uh, so this is the first part uh, as I already mentioned that uh, these lines set the dimensions of the design domain uh, defining the width and height of the uh, rectangular rain in millimeters uh, after that uh, the uh, number of elements underscore x and uh, elements of y uh, these lines actually determine the number of elements in x and y uh, direction for uh, discretizing uh, the uh, design domain and uh, after that uh, we have the element size uh, so the element size uh, actually it calculate the size of uh, each element each element by uh, dividing the uh, domain dimensions by the number of elements in each direction and uh, right over here uh, uh, created the nodes and elements using the mesh grid so uh, uh, these lines uh, generate the nodes and elements uh, for creating a finite element mesh uh, mesh grid uh, used uh, to create a grid of points uh, which represent the nodes and right over here this MATLAB built-in command uh, function connects that uh, nodes uh, to form uh, triangular elements let me show you how the mesh grid work 
so uh, here is a command for mesh grid uh, to use 2d grid uh, which we have uh, uh, utilized right over here so it will create uh, uh, coordinates uh, with x coordinates defined by the vector x and y coordinates defined by the vector y so uh, right over here let me left click here click on step so right over here we have x uh, in x we have start our number from horizontally from 0 to 100 and in y we have start our number from 0 to 100 vertically so uh, that's how the nodes work and then in elements we have uh, uh, to connect these nodes uh, to form triangular elements and let me click uh, show you elements so right over here uh, the the connection is built up between the uh, points uh, which are created by the mesh grid or between the nodes so right over here after that uh, the Young's module uh, which uh, this case is considered right over here uh, for the simplicity uh, and uh, after that we have uh, initialized design variable and uh, then there is an objective function call so uh, the number of uh, this initial design variables uh, represent the material distribution uh, in this example we start with a uniform distribution where all elements have same material properties and then there is a objective function so by using these instructions uh, volume constraints are set uh, the purpose uh, to use that is to uh, create a uh, specific uh, fraction of design domain volume uh, the constraint checks that the total volume of the material used is equal to or less than half of the domain volume which we have set this condition right over here and uh, after the uh, after that we have optimization problem uh, set up uh, using the uh, using uh, this MATLAB built-in function right over here so uh, we have to solve the optimization problem uh, using this command uh, this uh, command and uh, by using the optimization problem and after there is a, a post process results uh, right over here we have to uh, plot the results uh, uh, this is actually a uh, part which is related to uh, visualize the optimized uh, topology by plotting a figure right over here and after that uh, function to uh, compute compliance uh, right over here uh, which includes the function compliance and compute compliance and the number of elements uh, evaluation so um, this function actually calculates uh, the compliance of individual elements uh, based on the uh, material distribution uh, x and the compliance of uh, all the elements right over here uh, which is compute element compliance distribution so the compliance of all the elements is summed up uh, to get the total compliance of the structure and uh, finally at the end of uh, there is a function to compute volume so the uh, purpose of this uh, function uh, have to calculate the total volume of the material used based on the material uh, based on the material distribution x so uh, uh, which actually uh, multiplies the area of uh, area of uh, each element by its material value so uh, that's how this uh, program works uh, let me run this program so right over here we have the number of iterations uh, so we have total number of iterations are from 0 to 7 and uh, the function count uh, this one uh, which actually represent uh, the number of times the objective function has been evaluated during the optimization process and this is the fx uh, this is the value of the objective function uh, at the uh, current iteration the step size uh, this is the uh, size of the step or change made to the optimization variable in the current iteration and uh, after that here is the first order optimality, uh, optimality uh, this represent a measure of how close the current solution uh, how close uh, the current solution is to being optimal 
it can be thought of a measure of how well the optimization algorithm is is converging and uh, uh, the uh, problem uh, appeared unbound what does uh, does this mean uh, uh, this indicates that the optimization problem uh, algorithm may have found a solution uh, that approaches uh, uh, negative negative in uh, infinity for the objective function and uh, at the end there is a stopping criteria this section provides an uh, additional details about why the optimization process stops so the f uh, stop because the objective function value is less than or equal to uh, this limit so let me uh, now explain uh, this figure uh, so the entire area is on x axis we have 100 millimeters and on y axis we have another 100 millimeters so uh, the elements uh, 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 the design domain is divided into the smaller elements uh, each uh, one is representing element uh, usually representing uh, represented as the rectangular shapes so the nodes are just like these uh, intersection points within the elements are the nodes and the colors the colors within the uh, within the design domain represent the distribution of materials after optimization uh, the color intensity or the shading in uh, indicates uh, the concentration or the density of the material and the darkest color uh, areas with the darker color represent re uh, rings uh, where the optimizer have has assigned more material and the lighter color areas with the lighter colors indicates rains uh, where uh, the optimizer have assigned less material so uh, the goal of the topology optimization is, is to find the most efficient and structural sound layout of the material often resulting in lightweight and high performance structures so hopefully you enjoy this video and i will put the link in the description to download the code and please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.